I confided in my aunt, and now my parents are upset with me. This all started a couple of days ago when my aunt, 27F, called me, 19F, to talk about missing Starbucks cups. She told me on Monday she saw my brother and sister with rare Starbucks cups of hers. When she asked them about it, they said our mom told them our other aunt gave them to her years ago, and she had remembered about them a couple of months ago. My aunt immediately recognized these cups. These are rare cups that haven't been sold by Starbucks for years. My aunt collects them, and she told me years ago she asked my parents if she could store the cups in their garage since she had no room for them where she lived and believed they would be safe there. My dad helped my aunt put this box into the garage. My aunt called me very upset and asked if I knew anything about these cups. She then sent me pictures of the cups. I immediately recognized many of the cups and recalled seeing my mom and siblings using them. My mom had even given me one of the cups that she originally gave to my sister. But I've had mine sitting on my shelf. She asked if she should discuss this with my mom, especially since my mom knew about the box of cups and how they are collectibles. I told her she should, as it's not right, especially if my mom knew about it. We talked for a while, and during that conversation, I told my aunt about the multiple times my mom has made me give things to my little sister and would punish me if I didn't give in. I told her about the time I was moving out, and I had to give my sister something because she kept wanting my stuff. I told my aunt that I didn't remember exactly what it was since this was a year ago, and I told her it was probably figurines or something else. I wasn't entirely sure because I've been struggling with my mental health issues, so everything has been feeling like a blur for the past year. Last night, my aunt texted me, saying she confronted my mother, and my mom's mood immediately shifted, and she tried changing the subject multiple times. My mom even said my siblings and I were lying. She even went on to say I was also lying about the figurines. After the call with my mom, my aunt ended up texting my dad in a group chat between me, my aunt, and my dad. I had no idea about any of this until today when I woke up late. I was going to get ready to go to my parents' house for my sister's birthday dinner, but I stopped when I read the texts. To summarize, my aunt talked to my dad, and it turns out my mom was actually not telling the truth and knew about the cups yet still gave them out. My dad said he had cleaned out the garage long ago and told my mom to tell my aunt to get her cups, but my mom failed to do so, resulting in most of the cups being thrown out. My aunt is devastated that these cups she's been collecting for years are now gone. Now the only ones remaining are most likely ruined by my mom and siblings using them. My dad said he was unsure about what I was saying about my mom making me give in to my little sister wanting my stuff and said I always make my mom look like she is out to get me. Reading this hurt me very much. I was honestly shocked my dad said that. Growing up, I was mainly an independent child even when my brothers and sister came along. Once my sister started getting older, my mom would start making me do things, saying it was my duty as the eldest sibling and it was only right for me to do as the big sister. I would get grounded for weeks if I didn't do what my sister wanted me to do. I was made to drop everything I was doing to cook and clean up after my sister. Often, if I didn't do what my sister wanted, she'd cry to my mom, which resulted in me being forced and punished. I would be cut off from my friends for weeks and wouldn't be allowed to do anything besides staying in my room. I've had so many collectibles that my sister would insist on playing with, which resulted in her breaking them and my mom not caring. My nana and aunts would see this and take me out for a day just so I could have a day to do what I wanted and be free from the constant stress of doing whatever my sister wanted. If I wanted to hang out with my friends at home, we'd have to do whatever my sister wanted, otherwise, my mom would shout at me in front of my friends. Keep in mind, there is a 9-year age gap between my sister and me. So this would happen as I entered my teenage years up until I graduated high school in 2023. Because of all this, I don't have a good relationship with my sister or my mom. My dad has always been by my side and always stood up for me. Back to what's going on, I ended up texting my dad apologizing that it seems I am targeting my mom and explained how I have felt about everything in the past and how it affected me. My dad responded by saying that my sister is hurt if I don't play Fortnite with her and that I should think of how she feels and that just because my aunt vented to me doesn't mean I need to find common ground to vent to her about. I find this frustrating and hurtful. Yes, I know I'm older now, but that doesn't mean I don't still feel upset about how I was treated. Even now, my mom will yell at me when I visit with my daughter and boyfriend. There have been many times when my daughter was a few months old, and my sister wanted to hold her, my sister doesn't know how to hold babies, so I would say no unless she sat down while holding her. My mom would then tell me I'm being a bad sister and to think of how my sister feels and would tell me I'm wrong for it. My sister is often rude with me and has attitude issues when it comes to me. Many times she has called me ugly and has been straight up rude and mean towards me. Yet it is always ignored and excused by my mom. So because of what is happening, my dad told me they didn't want me to come to the birthday celebration and also disinvited my aunt. My parents have not spoken to me since. I feel this issue has turned into something bigger. I'm hoping to hear other opinions on this and if others have gone through something similar. My boyfriend suggested we take a break from visiting my parents and let this die down. But I feel I need to speak to my parents about how I feel. Am I wrong for saying how I feel and confiding in my aunt? Am I being immature for feeling this way? I have so many mixed emotions, but I mainly hurt my dad isn't listening to how I feel. I expected this from my mom, but not from him. Sorry for any grammatical or punctuation errors. I get shaky when I feel too emotional, so I may have written things out incorrectly. Edit. Okay, so I thought it would be good to give more background information on my relationship with my parents and siblings. I have two brothers and one sister. The order from youngest to oldest is this, me, 19F, brother who we will call Bobby, 16M, sister who we will call Ariel, 11F, and brother who we will call Luke, 3M. 
My mom and I never had a good relationship because of how she would treat me and act towards my dad. My dad and I have always had a really good relationship. I'm a daddy's girl. I love my dad a lot. My brother, Bobby, and I have a good relationship. Another reason why this is all bugging me so much is because I see my parents treating my brother, Bobby, the way they treated me, so I often try to stand up for him when I visit. My brother, Luke, and I are just fine. He's only three years old, after all. I get that my sister is a lot younger than I am, but I know it doesn't make the treatment okay, at all, not back then and definitely not now. As much as our relationship is bad, I still try to be there. I do not appreciate my mom excusing my sister's entitled and spoiled behavior towards me. I disciplined my siblings more than my mom and dad ever did, of course, only when needed. I would watch my siblings a lot growing up. There have been times my dad would work out of state, and my mom would go out and would leave me alone to watch my three siblings at home until 4am. During those hours, my sister would give me such trouble by acting so spoiled and having a bad attitude. I know she is still learning, and I hoped she only acted this way towards me and no one else, but she acts that way towards others. I've caught her giving attitude and being rude towards our grandmother, which I do not stand for at all. I have a very close relationship with my grandmother and my aunt. My dad has always been someone I can talk to, which is why what he said is affecting me so much. He's always been my hero. Writing this all is really making me think back to my childhood. I struggled a lot mentally growing up, and a lot of the times when I talked to my parents about it, it ended with me hiding in my bedroom closet crying, and my parents throwing things and saying they'd take me to a mental hospital and leave me there to figure it out. I will say things have definitely changed from that, which is why I am closer with my dad now. What also bothers me is my sister never gets disciplined like I did. I was always threatened to be punished if I didn't stop crying. My sister gets away with how she acts towards me and others, and I hate it. So I hope this helps give more background information on my relationship with my family members.